off. Oh, good afternoon. How is everybody? Hello. Shouldn't be doing this really because I'm getting ready for my show, but never mind. I thought it'd get me in the mood. Oh, sad face. Why? Sad. Who's sad? Hi Dawn. Hi Wendy. Hi Jane. Karen. Hi Karen. Uh, hi Wendy. Hi Dawn. Hi Susan. Hi Marjorie. Um, hi Louise. Louise. I'm not just saying it. It really is. There's quite a few of us now. Marjorie. Susan. Good afternoon. My lovely Jane. Uh, Afternoon, Liz, superstar to the world. Hi, Angela. Hi, Tracy, Joyce, Fiona, Denise. Hi, Denise. Uh, Cassie, hi, Cassie, Diane. Um, just a little shout out, right? If anybody would like to, um, if you've got any stuff, very glamorous. I have, I've not got, I've got eyebrows, mascara, eyeliner, lipstick on. I must put the less, less is more sort of business in it. Anyway, um, if anyone's interested in um, donating stuff to Helping Hands, which is a great charity, um, we've got a member whose daughter works very hard with them. So I'm going to uh, do my bit. Hope you can. But in this day and age, I understand. So it's not. I'm not trying to say you've got to do it. Hello, Linda. Hello, Julie. Hello, Philippa. Hello, Philippa. Oh, what am I doing here? I don't want that on it. What's that splashy line there? Embrace your age. Oh, I don't. What, what's, what's that? I don't know what all these things have just appeared on my book. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, acid. Sorry, I had to do that. I don't know what they are. They've just come up. Oh, but let, let's see what I look like in a drawing. Don't know what that that's a double right i'm going back i'm sorry sorry for those of you that have just joined i do apologize i've just found this thing on my on my camera which i don't know what it is and i don't know how to get rid of it now so ah hi gina hi angela sorry i was messing muriel oh good oh so brilliant Raina, you found us Raina. You just think you're 12 every day. Hi, Connie. Hi, Jan. Liz, more is more. <laughs> Hi, Philippa. Sorry, there's quite a few people. Hi, Helen. Disco. Oh, no. Anne. Sorry. Angela, sorry about that, guys. That was a little like, you know, when you press a button and you're like, oh, what then? And I just did that. So I just thought it was a bit, let's have a go. Anyway, 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 we could do two things. I, I must admit, I've not planned as much as I thought because I wasn't really going to do one with me being a one day special. But I'm all set up. I've got a bit of tutty on. I've got my monkey cardigan on, but who cares about that? And and I, I thought I need a little bit to calm it down because we've got a one day special today and, and you know I'm going through all planning and stuff and I've got everything planned, I've got it sorted and put out so it's, I mean I know what that means if anyone looked at that they'd be like, I die um, I, I'm looking at that stuff I'd be going, what the hell does that mean but I know what it means and it's like simple and I've been looking back at all the old <laughs> you better off not having me on sound, Philip. Seriously. 
Uh, hi Susan. Um, so what I thought is for my one day special tonight, I'm really going back to basics, and I don't mean like, um, like patronising you. I just mean all the things that we forgot about. So like little simple things. And um, Karen Keats did um, a Skype to uh, Chanda the other day. I don't know if you know Karen, but she, she's worked quite a long time now with different groups but hi Susan hi Jane and uh, she did a really good technique with um, gesso so it's like little things like that you catch up you sort of have a look at other people and then think well oh I could I could really use that and as I keep saying as I always say that's cool absolutely brilliant as long as you let people know that that's where you got your idea from I'm not saying that you have to sort of name everybody like the credits but if you don't then you, you don't get a great name if that makes sense because people say oh she's stealing or he's stealing or so if you're ready to you know if you're ready to sort of do stuff and it's being spited then you know credit where it's due hi me mimi i love that mimi 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 anyway uh you can choose today what we're going to use um saturday is always like that some days I say because people have weekends off and they don't always what's listen to me just waffling on. I don't think that's a word, is it? Twaffle. I think I've invented a new word. Twaffle. Ryan Day. Ryan Day is my nephew. How's the van? That's looking pretty smart. Will you do me one? I want one because I want to go on the road, Ryan. So you and Erica, will you? I'll buy a van. Will you sort it out for me? You know, you know, you want to really. Yeah. Make up for, uh, I don't know, make up for not being able to stay at all these places, wouldn't it? And uh, being able to go and visit them because I can't stay in hotels. Ah, oh, great. It's done, they've done this van out and it's absolutely amazing. Uh, him and uh, his friend partner, Erica. Um, it's a bit odd to say girlfriend. It's like me calling my boyfriend. I sound like a weirdo, wouldn't I? Um, but they've got a van and uh, they've ripped all the inside out and they've put like a wonderful, here's me telling you, probably didn't anyone know, but this wonderful sort of custom made worktop from a piece of wood. I'm kidding it all out. It looks amazing. And if you can go over, oh, nice one. If you can go over to Erica's page, I'll put a link on. She does amazing work. Um rehoming the animals she's absolutely brilliant absolutely brilliant she rehomes them she raises funds she pays out of her own pocket so um paws and co so i'll put a link on there because she's she doesn't ask ever ask you know but people like that unsung heroes aren't they so anyway it's enough i, I don't very rarely talk about my family do i but yeah so anyway we can borrow the van he said i'm happy now anyway so what, what you want is some paper to draw on, a pen or pencil. Oh, there she is, Erica J. There she is. So if she puts a, a link on later, go and have a look. At her. She's got the best garden ever with dogs running around. It's just, and that little Bella, she's got a little this friend. Oh, go and have a look at her. She's on my page, actually, for her eyesight, and she's just getting her it. Nell Day's on as well. There's another one. There's me, 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 me niece in law. So, oh, oh, I've got them all on now. I've got better be good, Anna. No, they don't, they're not going to say, well, that's me, Auntie, are they? Jesus, they're going to say, no, that I don't know. I don't know who the hell is that. Anyway, if you do or you don't want to take time and take part in this, that's fine, but you must find things that you need to do. So, the whole point of this moodling. Is, is like creating artwork and different sort of doodles using one the mood you're in and two like the idea of when you're on the phone and you're doodling putting the two together and creating something quite nice and then being able to say okay I can't get on with my day or I can go and do this because we, we always forget ourselves and there's always something better to do or something more important or something dramatically important to do so forget about that and just say right i'm gonna have 10 minutes for myself and it really calms you down and um if you suffer with anxiety depression any of those things it could help you as well so that's what i do it for and uh, to annoy people which i do in buckets i do in buckets 
so anyway i'm going to turn you down and round all right so we're getting people coming in now um i'll save this to the group and anyone else that wants to put it and I'm on my youtube so if you can subscribe and click the bell thing if i get to 100 uh, no not 100 a thousand i can start my next adventure so we'll turn you down and round i've got the big light on not the big one the big one so you know like the um youtubers have there you can see it on my glasses look see it right got that on there but i've not got the big light on so if I get a bit of shadow, I apologise. So I'm just going to turn you down. Get your headphones on. I would. I'm always loud in the living room, me. There we go. I'm going to move you in a little bit now. And I'm just move you up a bit. This is because I'm because I'm, I'm using the, the setup for tonight. Because I'm using the setup for tonight. It, it's a little bit different. So bear with me, please. So anyway, I can't really see what I'm doing, which is probably better. So I've got this page here. And I'm going to I'm going to be thank this is a grateful page. Now you don't have to join in with this. You don't have to join in with this. But Valentine's Day, yeah, it's coming up. Now, the problem with Valentine's Day is I am not in the least bit I haven't got one ounce of romanticism in my body. I don't know where it never appeared. I'm missing the gene, I think. So, but I do like the idea of spreading a bit of love at the moment in any way. Well, within reason, don't, you know, not that you can get arrested with. But if you want to sort of thank people or anything like that, we can use the heart as a, you know, a main feature. So, you know, your heart is, it, it's not just an envelope of like you love somebody, but it's like caring, you know, nurturing, supporting, and it's all these things. So, it's a wonderful sort of start to a point you don't have to draw a heart it could be a circle a circle's just as good and um, you can do an, an, an a sort of oval shape you can do all these shapes you can do the, all of them you can do one or two of them but the essence of the idea is that it gives you a really nice um starting point that you can then doodle from now that to me is a, a doodle done so we could do that i think that might do that the the studio light one day special i've got tonight is hearts and that's what's inspired me to do this and i just thought that's quite nice that's a nice sort of flow we've got things we can color in and patterns we can put in so i'm gonna go with that how glad am i i sat and did that because i was i was gonna do something else that's all I was going to do flowers. So the first thing we're going to do is just in the middle, not too big, is draw a heart. Now, if you want it symmetrical, all I suggest you do is cut out a heart in a scrap piece of paper. She says, where's my scissors gone out of there? Oh, wizard, come on. Where's your scissors? I had a little pair of black hair. I'll stack it. Anyway, get a piece of paper. What you can do is just, if you want quite a rugged one, is just draw one half like that. And then rip it. Now, you don't have to rip it. You can cut it. It's entirely up to you. So, just doing that. Great for raising funds as well, this, because... You're sort of arranging your own page now. So there's your art. Looks more like a fox's head, that, doesn't it? Or a, a, a dog's head. Look. Anyway, so you can do that and then draw around it. Oh, you can actually just use that. It's up to you. Or you can use that. So the choice is yours. If you want to cut it out, it's going to look a lot neater, isn't it, than that scabby thing. But it's up to you. Um, you can use the scalpel if you are... Oh, found them. Found them. If you're allowed, you can use the scalpel. But if you're not allowed to use scissors or scalpels then get a, a parent to do it and if your parents not around or you're too old then go and get a child to do it who's more sensible than you right so there's me out there if i want it keep two you've got positive and the negative so if you choose to mask off you can use that if you choose to use color and spread color around you can use that as a mask okay 
So that's masking, so that's covering something. And the stencil is that. I hope that makes sense. Anyway, I'm not using any of them, I'm just going for it. So my, my hearts are sort of always bigger on one side and like that. Quite happy with that. I might change it down in a minute. Now, what I'm going to do is make my oval the shape of the heart. So, do a couple of lines like that and then gradually just get a bigger one. Now, yesterday I had so many comments about that w workshop uh, that it, I had people saying to me, oh my God, it looked a mess. Yes, it did. I, wh why do people think they're telling me something new? The only thing is, if they say it looks a mess and then they say it continues to look a mess, then I'm peed off. But if, if they say, yeah, it's it will do, it will do. And the sooner people can sort of get that into the red, the better. So I'm drawing another heart around it, uh, another oval around it. Sort of doesn't have to be perfect. I'm choosing and I'm thickening up the line that I want. Okay. Then I'm going to go to another line, basically the same sort of distance. Now you might find that you've gone off your page. Who cares? It doesn't matter. Continue it. Continue it onto another page. Right. So. That's a bit dodgy there, so I'm just going to rub that out there. So I quite like that. That's quite nice. So in the middle, you can, you know, do this circle. You could put a circle behind it. Do you know what I mean? There's all sorts of things. So the first thing we're going to do is get this set up so that this will be down and permanent. Now I'm going to use a, a two because that's what I've got in my hand. All the others are over there. So I'm using a two and I'm using a permanent pen. It's a number two and it's a, uh, a secure micron. And I'm just going to take my tap. Right, where's my... Hang on, I need... What happened is yesterday, yesterday I got um, a bit of water. But it wasn't dry. So you just need a tiny bit of sandpaper. Now this isn't too... And all you do is just... Don't go like that because you'll end up like changing the nib size and then flatten. Now it should work if you get it going. If it doesn't, then you might have used it up. But sometimes you do kill your pens. And if I have, I might need a new one. Yeah, I think this is well and truly gone, this. They do run out, you know. Even even me, I, I'm like, forget that they do run out. Right, I'm going to get a five, a three. They come in all different sizes, and there's, there's a reason for that. It's not just a, a selling ploy. There really is a reason. And the reason is, different widths of pen allow you to do different de size of details. So, for instance, if I wanted to do a really fine detail, I couldn't do it with a, a size 8 nib because it would take too much room up. Whereas I could use my 003 or 005, which is a lot smaller. So I'm going to go with a 5 first just to get this down. Check my pen. Yep, my pen's okay. And I'm just going to go and I'm going to choose one line and I'm just going to go for the shape I like. Like that. The next one. This does not have to be perfect because we're going to go over it. So the next thing is, I am just going to put in, try not to move, to, to sort of take your pen off if you can help it because it's smoother. It doesn't really matter when you're doing the, these sort of lines. I'll tell you why, because we're going to go over these lines. So really, it doesn't really matter. But when you're drawing and you want it to be smooth, then always try and keep your pen flowing. Right, so it's a bit dodgy there. So what I'm going to do is in my next line, I'll make another one there just to even it out. So here I'm just going to look for something that's reasonably similar. I might have gone a little bit out there, but it doesn't matter. So now what I'm going to do is rub the lot out. And now I've got a better idea of what I've got in the middle. Okay, so I've got that now and it looks really 
crap like that. So what I'm going to do is get the pen again. Uh, I'm going to use the same pen, which was a five, because the patterning is the one what I change. Don't leave any pen marks on because if you do, and the pen uh, pencil marks, if you do the pen over them, they'll stay permanent. So I'm just going to in sort of wibble wobble round them. Now this takes care of any dodge lines. Don't go too well. You can do if you want it to go really lady with the lines do it it's your work who cares so and then i'm going to do another one the opposite way so this one is look for the, the gaps and it's sort of like if makes sense organized chaos because you're going to be using the lines as you're patterning so if i've got a line here I want a line there. This is really mindful because this. It is um, taking your, your life for a walk, which is what Karen has mentioned before. Um, but yeah, it's something we did at school, but um, it's just organized lines so that you, you one, you're not, in, you're not worried and constantly worried about how your work looks, does it look neat, does it look tidy, are the lines straight, let's face it, who cares, well, some people are really, really, it's quite, well, not OCD, because that's rude, but it, it, it can be quite upsetting for them, so, in one sense, you know, if you want to take care of all your lines and dead straight, that's entirely up to you, but that is up to you, so I'm going to take something like a pot, and I'm just going to see, is that big enough? And just see, do I want that there? So first of all, with my pencil, I'll have a look. Right. Another thing is, when you draw in, keep your pencil flat. Because I'm trying to draw. And the lid's bigger than the bottom. Now, that's way too big. So, now, I mean, if you've got a compass, use one of them. Let's see the smaller one. Try it there. I quite like that to the side, actually, like that. I don't, you know, a bit jaunty. Yeah, I like that. This, I'm going to create quite a, a strong line. Now, I'm just going to put another one here because I might change the... I've got, oh, yeah, this is better. Using some of that. Right, three's work better. Looks like it's got mumps in it. Um, three's better because it's sort of um, it's good for your your head. It's good for your head. So I'm just going to pull that out a bit. No, because I might do it wrong. Anyway, I'm going to leave it like that. So the first thing I'm going to do is clean up the mess. Oh, glue! Oh, I can use that tonight. Right. So, on my table, I have got my pens, which you can buy um, quite a few places now. They're secure. You've also got the Edding Drawing pens. I've got some watercolours by Sminky, uh, Jane Davenport and lovely Marlene. And I've got my Winky Inks, Pearly Inks. Okay, so these have got a beautiful iridescence in them. So these would be a really good base to start. And you just think about the colours you want. Now here I've got a set of um, the, like purples, which is, is a lovely colour. Um, and they work really well with greens. So, oh hey, behave. So always, always mix up your inks if you're going to use these sort of inks to make sure and I've got these greens as well which are stupendous so you could use these as well don't forget to mix them up choose whatever you want if you have got your pens um, use any pens you've got felt tips are fine 
from the pound shop, anything like that. All you need to do is just have a non-porous surface, a mat or um, a glass mat, a chopping board, anything like that's got a non-porous shiny surface, plastic bag, anything, even, you know, take the plastic off that, I could use that. You need it to be a plastic coated surface, then that way it doesn't, doesn't sort of jump into the surface you're write, writing or drawing on. So I'm just going to move these away for a minute. I'm just going to check now. I'm going to put some colour on because I think it needs it. Now, what you can do is concentric ovals then if you want to make them bigger. I don't because I think it'd be nice to put some pattern in in the corners. You could put the pattern in uh, just in two corners and I like the idea of offset. So you could do them two there or you could do that one and that one. It's entirely up to you but I just want to balance it that way. I'm going to use some paints. It's entirely up to you what you use. These, some of these are a little bit damp. Now the reason these are damp is because yeah I know they're wet but They've got a little bit of um, water that I left in yesterday. So I'm just going to put a bit of a pearl on first. And I'm going to see which one I want. There's, as you can see, there's like brights. And then there's this one, which is more of a, a damson colour. And it's called Lush Lily. Lully Lish Lily. Lush Lily. Now, you may not see all the sparkle and stuff around oh it's gone all over there nice look at that silly idiot now thing is remember what i said wet and wet and wet and dry it's different so all i'm going to do is just going to go all the way around this with my inks and i'm going to brush it in and out of the background layering it letting the the ink sort of dictate if there's going to be lines and stuff because it doesn't matter it's a foundation or oh, does matter if you've drawn on it oh it doesn't matter i'll leave that on because you can't get rid of that once you put a layer on it's almost like um you have to take a layer of the paper away to rub it away so the answer is rub out everything that you don't need but I must admit, you're not really going to see it under here. Right, so now I've made the mistake of not not um, doing as I say and not shaking these enough. And I've found that, I, you know, the pearl wasn't as, as I thought. But you do it right, like now, and you can see the shimmer. Now you might not, it'll dry. As it dries, it shimmers. So do what it says. Do what it says. Right. So I'll put the first colour on. You can leave this to dry if you wish. You can dry it with your brush, eh, your gun, whatever, your air dryer. Um, if you've got another piece of paper and a little bit of ink. There we go. That's the background for the next one. Now purple's a really difficult colour to mix with because it tends to revert everything to brown so the skill of purple or using purple should i say is to use it and dry and then use and dry and then in between colors use it and dry it and then that way you don't you know contaminate the previous color and you get a dry base for it to sit on rather than mixing i hope that makes sense oh that's the cleanest it's ever been look at that Right, so I've got that. The shimmer is starting to come through, which is luscious, luscious. So what I'm thinking is now I'm going to put some bright colours in there on it, nice, bright and vivacious. So I'm going to move to another type of colour. I'm going to use some watercolour and I'm going to go with my orange. And I'm going to go here with orange. So you can use your paint like I'm using and then remember when you use your paint you can leave it a minute and then blend it out now there's some great die cuts in that section tonight on the one day special which allow you to do this quite really easily so this is going on quite thick as you can see it's quite a strong base I'm not too worried about trying to mix it in here because I want depth there and again here so now there are different sorts of 
paints as well. Some paints stay moist and some paints dry. So it's entirely up to you what to use. Some watercolours, um, drying cakes and cracks and people think they have to throw them away and that's the best bit when they're like that because they're stronger. So I've, I've got out all my colours. Oh, for crying out loud, just get them out with us. Right, so top one. Marlene's the next one. Keeping them in the way that I've got them. I usually know which is which because you get used to colours, but just in case you're like me and you think, oh, I've forgotten. If you just keep them in the order, or right on the back, J, whatever. And I'm just going to keep them on. Take the tins away. you now got all your... That's what I've done in here with these colours here. You can just see I've kept them in there. Because they were from a, another palette. And the palette was too big. So I thought I'd use this. Now, I've left this quite a while now. Which I don't mind. Because now what I can do is just get a bigger brush. A little bit more water. And then start away from the area you want to do. And apply water to it. And then let the colour drift into it. I'll do a bit here. Do it all the way around. And it'll start to pull the colour out itself. But we're going to allow a bit, a bit of help. A bit of help. Right, so we just brush the colour out a little bit. And you're allowing the watercolour to move. And you're getting rid of any of that line. That horrible line that... You know, it doesn't give you an act unless you want it sort of really uh, bold and um, graphic. Then you know lines really should be smoothed out. And if you use eyeshadow, you're blending. Oh, you're blending. And if you don't use eyeshadow, you're not blending. But those people know what I mean. It's about the small strokes and 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 sort of allowing it. Now, if you've got a little bit there that needs a little bit more colour, then just drop more in as you're doing it and allow it. Don't try and brush it out yourself. Allow it to move. So what happens is you've got a wonderful gradient happening. If you've got areas that are going to be like darker here because they're in a they're in sort of a crevice, then what you do is add a little bit more colour. If you're more confident now, you can drop in. A tiny bit more of red, but not a red. This is called a cadmium red. And cadmium is, is a very soft red. It's more of an orange. So it makes that transition between yellow, orange and red really a lot softer. So the cadmium red is like a, a, a sort of dark orange. Um, but it does depend on the make as well, because even though they've got, the same names, uh, different pigments and binders and whatnots create different colours. So just leave that and it starts to do it itself. If again you want a little bit of help with it, get a finer brush this time because you don't want to blend it right out. You want to keep it pretty contained but still blend the colours out and just use a, a, a damp brush, clean it off and then just tickle over where that line is. And then you blend that out again. So it's all about blending. So. We've got a bright. Now it's, it's sort of accentuating. It's nice and bright. You can go one step further. If you're ready. And that's to go for a darker red. So we're hitting something like. Um, it's not crimson. It's more like a, a deep cadmium. So that would be that colour going towards a pink now. Just got to be careful because there are pink reds and orange reds. Look, can you see? That's a pink red, that's an orange red. So just be careful. Um, and when I do my colour class, I'll be able to show everybody the difference because there are different effects. It's a bit like printers when they use cyan, you know, and not red, blue and yellow they use the site the the printer colours you get very different colours like they use um, like a teal and aqua and a pink magenta 
you get lots of different colours. Right, so now I've put a, quite a dark cadmium on, gone round, accentuated the areas I've just done. If it goes onto your lines, don't worry, don't worry at all, because that is part and parcel of it. Then go back to your first orange, which is that one, and you're going to go back over. Now this helps the blend because you're sort of mixing it with the background, so to speak. Can you see? You're mixing it with the background so you've not got a line. You do this with alcohol pens. You do it with um, any sort of ombre effect. You always sort of go over it, put your colours down, and each colour as it gets darker, you put less of it down. But then at the end, you go back over with the lightest and it just blends it all together, she says. And I'm just going to fill in some of these here if I want a little bit more. But you don't have to, you can keep it white. I just want this to look different to that. There we go. And then if that's too dark, wet it. And then... Damp it down. So you can damp all this off and down and then you more or less can start again. Shouldn't it? I've only done that just to show you, but you know, you don't have to do that. You can keep going with what you've done. Right, so yeah, I'm happy with that. I can put some more colour in there. I might put more orange back into it now because I've wiped a lot of it away. But if you want to make your own, go with the cadmium. Always wash your brush. You should always start with the light colour first because contamination is so easy. And then you get the yellow that we've used. And then in between, you bring a bit of both. Now, you only need a little bit of the lesser colour. Uh, the, the lighter colour you need more of. So... So when we're doing our master classes, we'll be doing this. So then you test that and you think, right, well, what does it look against the two? Yep, not bad at all. So now that will work for everything that you want to sort of touch up here. You get carried away with this, so, so I'm going to stop. Just going to do it in certain areas otherwise i'll be here all day faffing right and the thing is don't be frightened of it you're in control here well you are because you want you're controlling chaos so you can't really do that but you, you you're in control you, you're mastering this now not you know you you put it where you want if you don't like it paint it out so I'm happy with that. Oh, the, what does it look like on the? Oh yeah, that's all right. Um, no, you don't need Vicket. You don't need watercolors for the masterclass. It does help, but there's a lot of stuff you can use anyway. I'm just going to see if there's anybody that needs any. Um. Yep, yeah, there's a lot of people loving it. Great. Yes, yeah, Sarah, you do. Hi, Dawn. Very nice to see you, Thomas, April, Jenny. Thank you, Sally. I know I wasn't going to. Hi, Marcia. Yeah, hi, Kate. Hi, Alison. Sam, Hilary, Joe, Vicky. Um, it does help if you've got watercolours, but if you haven't, it doesn't matter because you can use pens, you can use anything. My advice is to get a, a set of watercolours, a set of acrylics and a set of pens. But that's if you're a serious watercolour crafter slash artist, whatever, because that way, you know, you're going to use them. And by having the Masterclass 1, which is basics, um, but not basics as in dummy stuff at all. I don't want you to think that. It's not. It's basics as in um, the theory. And, okay, you might love colour, you might be able to use it, but do you know Why? Why? things go with colours, why things don't go, why if you add this colour one time it looks nice and you add it again and it doesn't and that's what it is about, it's about the masterclass of, it's not the be all and end all either, it's not the sort of 
the first, second and last thing. Now that's my wop, wopper. That's my mop up page, which is quite nice and gentle. So that's only cleaning my mat, which is quite a nice page. And that now is a good start for another one. So we'll go back to this now. You can just start to see pearl coming through. It's very, very, very subtle. It's really nice. It's really subtle. Right. So next, we're going to have a look at this. Now this can be any colour you want. Now the initial thing would be to go with red. Um, I quite like the idea of red. But do we want red? Do we want another colour? Well, seems to go orange here. I think red would look really cool because it's sort of mingled but then if we did a bright teal so these are things you have to ask yourself when you're doing anything like this are you wanting to create impact or do you want to have the designs that you've got the main focal point so my advice is i'm going to start well right well you, you can do two things you can go start darker on the outside and move lighter in or you can do it inside dark moving out light it's entirely up to you um i quite like pink and red so i, I really think the dark i'm just going to do it in short see if i'm using this i'm just going to show you the pink i'll, I'll, I'll test the colors out and these are jane davenport's See, these are the blue reds. So. Now these are the orange reds. Still a bit pink in that one. But you will get that. So, do I want those colours? Do I want it to be like that or not? I don't know. Do I want it bright? Do I want it colourful? Do I want it... I'm going to go for something totally the opposite, I think. Maybe teal. Yeah, I'm going to go for teal. Because it's the opposite. And the opposite should look better. So, first thing I'm going to do is suss out where the teals are that I'm going to need. Um, put them, see if I like them. I've not woken up my paints yet, so they're a bit... If a, a bit knackered. Well, that's a green turquoise. That's a blue turquoise. That's a purple. It's a blue. So these are all the things you need to look at. What do I want that now? And I'm totally confused. So. I'm going to go with the aqua green choices 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 so i'm using that color which is quite so i'm trying to thicken it up now so got quite a lot of water because it's a big brush i've got quite a lot of water on the brush so i'm trying to get the ratio right so if needs be take the water off your brush Perfect. So it's a dark teal turquoise, not teal, sorry, turquoise. I'm just not going too near, I'm just wiggly wobbling, creating a bit of a line there. Not going straight to the line because I don't want to. Right. First thing we're going to do is water in the middle. And I'm just going to let push some water on there. And water in the middle. Now remember what we did? You're not working this side because you want this to side to stay dry you want working the inside so the inside is wet and that capillary action is allowing the paint to move 
you might need a little bit more if you've got a line that's no problem just go over it so if you introduce some more wet paint what you're actually doing is allowing the blend so and then no water on my, uh, no color on my brush this is just water and I'm allowing that to sort of pull in now just down here I think I'll just have it more joined there So you just add wherever you want more colour, add more colour to it and then just allow the water on your brush to sort of blend it out and mop, mop it up. If at some point that you don't want it this heavy, then all you have to do, remember, don't, is just go in with your tissue, take some off. Um, you want to sort of control where you take it, then just use the, or a cotton bud, although I don't really like cotton buds see here I need a little bit more just to see so this isn't the normal um, color way that you'd use but that's what I like about it I'm just going to drop in some dark really dark so it's quite concentrated And all that is is to give it a a nice um, dark edge to it because it will dry lighter. Okay, so we're going to leave that. I'm going to give it a bit of a blast now. So if you want to go for a, a quick um, comfort break or whatever, go to lav. That is a comfort break, isn't it? So I'm just getting my um, me gun, so bear with me, I'm still here. I want to put a bit of bony M on, but I can't, a bit of buzzing with, bu with Bez, but I can't because I'll get turned off. Right, I'm just going to dry this off. I need to be a bit higher for you all, don't I? Just going to clean up this one minute. There we go. Again, you can see where the, the majority of the water is, if I show you like that. Hello, Julia. Hello, Linda. Who else has joined us? Sue. Hi, Jan. Um, oh, right, yeah. I know there's quite a lot of different classes on at the moment, isn't there? Yeah, I know some people are telling me I'm an idiot for doing five, five or six free ones every week, but as Barbara Grace says as well, when I'm at the point that I can't do it anymore, I won't. But I'm not at that point yet, so if I, I'll continue to do it as much as I can free because it's not about the money. I was talking to the DT last night, two of the girls in my uh, DT, lovely ladies, my colleagues, and uh, we were saying that we don't do it for the money. Although you have to think about money, we do it for the sheer pleasure of creating and our own sanity. So I've left that to dry a little bit. So if you wanted to create something quite quaint in it, you could do like flowers or something quite 
ornate like that or it's a tad up to you if you want to do some writing in it you choose now how you want to do this so i'm going to go in straight with the pen no, i might use pencil pencil right and i'm just going to show you i'm going to do some patterning in here so i'm just going to draw a line i'm not going to go um like this because i think i've got enough of that what i am going to do is do separate like they're not they're almost parallel but they're not because they wibbly wobble it like that so i've got one two three or i've got one two three four lines if that makes sense so i've got patterning areas for this i'm quite happy about leaving this for the moment but you could almost if you are of um a certain you know if you're religious in any way or if you, you whatever religion you are it doesn't matter it's not not about around but sometimes um Pictures of the Sacred Heart could be beautiful as well for people. Especially if you want to send prayers to people and stuff. So it's open to anybody in this. If you get the picture of what you want to do and just add the ideas behind it. Um, as long as it's not defamatory or anything or upsetting anybody. But you could put the ray of light in. I just think that's what's holding us together at the moment. is love and passion and, you know nice things i hope so i've put in some lines here i've put i'm not too sure about whether i want pattern here um but it just makes sense if i do so i'm just going to put a pencil line there just to see what it looks like i don't want it to look like a carbuncle but it's like new beginnings and growth isn't it not boil growths but do you know what i mean i'm not saying anymore shut up but you could you know out out concentric circles and stuff so you could do that there then what you could do is have i quite like the idea of it now we could do we could have that as a landscape which would be quite nice wouldn't it now you could do a landscape in there if you wish or you know just one or two little flowers it's entirely up to you let's forget the heart for a minute and we're going to go into pattern pattern designing and stuff with um shapes so the shape the first one is it's going to be really simple and we're just going to look at how we can put a shape within this. Now, the shape can't be too concentrated because you've got to... Well, it can be, but you've got to make the choice whether you want the patterns in them to be really the, the thing that draws you to it or the heart. So make a, a point of where you, you, you want your focal, focal point to be. So I'm just going to do a really easy couple. And these are just like doodly doodly ones. Now... The first one I'm going to do is just two lines everywhere. Now, I've done this before, and I'm going to turn your page round to keep them perpendicular. Is that the right one I'm thinking of? It doesn't matter. But anyway, you're keeping it upright like it. So you're just moving your paper. And you're not moving the way you draw your lines you're just moving your paper around so you're drawing at 12 o'clock all the time and they start you just watch how you go with this because it's like everything we start off at a certain pace and then change the, the, the pace and the weight of line all the way and before you know it you start off one way and you've completely finished another way so Again, if you're a bit stuck about how to work this, if you see this line here, that line there, if you turn your page each time to that line, or whichever line you're using, and just draw that way, you'll get the shape that I'm talking about. Make sense? Oh, there. Okay, so we've gone round with that, and in between...
a circle of the same shape with a circle in the middle. If, like here, it goes underneath, then it goes underneath. Don't be trying to draw it in if you can. Again, mindful shapes. Circles represent the circles that we've already got on. It's a nice shape to draw. It's gentle, no edges. Oh, you know, if you start reading into what you're drawing and how you draw it, it's quite, well, it is really interesting. I used to gauge the kids' moods by how they were drawing. You'd know there's something not right. If you start getting all angular and sharp lines. So it's a good indicator of people's moods. And it's a good way of decreasing a mood. So if somebody is really not in a good place, this helps. I'm not a doctor though. I'm just saying it helps me and a few other people that I know. A few thousand. Right, so I've got my circles in there, which is quite nice. I'm going to go straight in with my pens now because you're going to be sat there for hours watching me just draw straight lines and that could be a bit pee you off. I'm using a number eight because they're only... The pattern that I'm putting in is quite uh, strong pattern, so it's not a delicate or weak pattern. So it can take this, just allowing for any changes I need to put in by using the pencil first. So if I want to change it, then I've got room to change it. So, you go all the way around. So, over there. Now, what what is a good idea? Is if you look at the books, Joanne Fink, um, Ali, uh, Joanne Sharp, um, there's all sorts. Uh, McNeil, they, they do really good doodle books um, the Zentangle and all that are registered so you, uh, my advice is you know stick to what you can you can use books like that for reference but you can't you've got to you, you know you've got to be how can I put it um, conscious of their work and you've got to make sure that people know where it's from and that you're not making profit if you're making a profit for them, then you have to ask. And of course, they're within their own right to say, sod off, no. So here you can see that the circle depends mainly on the line that's going wiggly wobbly there. So just change to suit. You don't need to put a circle in the middle. I'm just doing this. Because I, I enjoy drawing circles. I like this shape. This tends to be my finishing off shape in different colours. So I've only got two more to do. Okay, I like that. So I've got another line now that needs to be dividing that. Now what you can do is divide it and leave a little bit of white. And the way to do that is to just... Add some dots, little wiggles, straight line, dot, dot, dot. So take your time. You should if you want, this is when you could use a thinner pen. So, we're leaving space there now. Between the next one. 
there we go so we've got that quite a fine line there we could do whatever we want in there and i've got a funny feeling that i might leave some of that out because the patterning is going to be too strong for me so what i'm going to do is i'm going to jump jump down now to um that was an eight i was using i'm going to go down to a three to put this this line in here and i'm going to make the line fit the circles now that i've already drawn rather than rubbing things out i'm going to just change it so by that i mean when i've come to this part here i'm making it join if you see what i mean rather than sort of trying to rub stuff out i'm making it fit my lines that i've drawn rather than the other way that way it works so again pencil lines are only there to be a guide and you can do it the way i'm doing now which is to go backwards or you can move forwards p, p some people you see they have um, they like to move clockwise, some work anti-clockwise, anti-clockwise. And then here we've got a, we've got all this pattern going to be happening in here. So I'm just going to put some in. Now this should be dry enough for me to use my pen on top of the colour. Now I'm picking medium, well bigger size shapes and smaller ones. And I'm being quite... Sort of dense with the sh lines I'm doing. And if you want, you can sort of do a continuation of a line like, so that sort of feeds the three there. Leave a gap. That's it, so I've got my Moodle in, in there. You don't forget you've got your lines there if you wish. You could use the word love, it'd be quite nice, wouldn't it? Or care, share, love, um, think, find, help. All these words here, you know, that have a, a lovely meaning to you, whatever. We've got a space there we could put colour and shape in. I've got this, so my advice is now, well, you can and you don't do any more work. Rub out the lines you don't need and then everything starts to look. Not like you've missed lines, you've gone over lines, you've forgot lines. You've, you're actually now rubbing out the pencil so that you can see your... How are we doing? How many people are we around? Oh! So, it's entirely up to you. If you do make a, a bit of a peak tongue, don't worry. Because when you rub it out like that... Um, you get rid of the a, a layer of the paper, so it's not as um, it's not as strong the colour. So we've got a lovely pattern here. Um, you could put letters in here if you want the writing. You could put anything. Um, I'm looking at these now, and I'm thinking I need some colour or pattern or shape in that. So the next pattern I'm going to use is I've got lines. I need circles now and I've got no lines on the outer one so maybe if I just put in right oh excuse me that's my tummy perpendicular ones not really thick and not really dense You can because it'll change it completely if you put them nearer to having them really like sprayed apart. I do hope that, um, I know she might not be watching now because if you're not interested in art, it's hard for you to watch stuff and stay interested. Or oh, if you're not interested in this yet. But uh, I hope uh, Erica does put a, a, a link because she does some great, great work. 
um, and she raises she raises so much money to get these little animals put in safe homes, forever homes, and her little company is uh, fantastic. So I hope at some point I can get that on. I don't normally provide links, but you know when. When I said at the beginning about the Helping Hands project as well. So if you want to, I could put you in contact with the person whose daughter is doing that one as well. Just so that you've got a point of reference. Right, so I've got the ovals in now in areas. It's coming together nice now. I really like that. I think what I am going to do though is pull another bit of pattern on into this because I just think it's and I'm, I've got a number one now so it's quite a, a a fine pen and you'll see it difference so You get a lovely, and if you can get a, a 005 or a 003, they're really expensive though. I bought some and I must admit, I don't know what's up with them, they're not working at the moment, but they soon go on there. Yeah, it was about eight quid for four. No, no, they were about three quid each or something like that. So there we go, I've put the, the, the 01 on. You can see the difference, can't you? Oh, what happened then? Um, you can see just see the difference how fine it is. So, I think let's have a look for some more. I think we need some dangles. I'm just going to put in some hearts. These look more like chilies. I put a couple there, so I'll put some more in. You can put as many as you wanted. You can put another one down there and have it in there. It might be nice actually. Do some dangles coming from there. That might be what I want actually, because I, I couldn't think of what I wanted, so I think I'll do that. So I'm just going to do some lines. The first one there, and I'm just going to. These are just the hearts, so again using the number one. So I've got a dingly dangly there. Now I'm purposely not looking at the other one because I don't want to know. Sorry, I've gone quiet. So I've got my nice doodles now. I've got the chance to put more in, in between them. Okay, so I've got more chance of putting colour. But while I'm waiting for the things to colour to dry, this is will be ready for my white pen if I can get ever get the sodding things to work. Um, I think I'm going to use the words here. Quite like the words are used. Right, okay. I quite like that. So 
I'm going to do them with a one, so I'm going to go So I've put some little words there. That's my positivity. So I've got love, hope, care, help, inspire, nurture, destiny. So it's quite nice that. And what I'm going to do is on the same word, I'm just going to do the word opposite. So... Here, it's... Uh, So we've got the word backwards both ways. You can't really see it. So we've got help that way and help coming down as well. So it just gives it a really nice... You can carry on all the way around. It might be nice actually as a background for this. So my... Um, Oh, we're back tomorrow. Um, Right, okay, so I've got it like a padded heart now. <laughs> so I've wrote all the words around there. Though it doesn't matter what they are because it's up to me. So you could just do, if you don't want to write anything, which is fine, you don't have to. What you can do instead is just a, a made-up word. And it's not even, it's just squiggles like you're writing. And then that way, you're not making, you don't mean out, you're just doing a pattern. So... How are we doing? Hi Jackie. Hi Tracer. I've just spoke about you. And your wonderful colour classes, Tracer. Absolutely wonderful colour classes. So if you don't, go and have a look. Um, so I've got this now. I've got my bright now. I can pull out the colours round here if I want. But I'll leave the colour into you. I'm not you know like i say i'm supposed to be working now on my show but hey ho hey ho i'm better off doing this so i've got my pens out now you can use your secura you can use all your colors um get your colors out and ready because when you're out when they're out and ready you're going to use them it's when they're in the cupboard you won't use them so i've got these you could use your secura pens as well Mine aren't working, they're a pain in the bum. So, let me just move this round so I can knock everything around. Um, you can use watercolour pa paper, uh, pens, anything you want. Anything. So, right. So, I've got my colour there, but I need something round here. Because I'm not, a, it needs to bring it out a little bit more. So, this is when I get my big, my big whopper brush. And I'm just going to add a little bit of colour to the edge, just to bring it round. And I'm going to paint, choose, a... right, this is, that's nice, so I'm mixing the two together now, <clears throat> and that's from the Jane Davenport one, so I'm just going to introduce, 
I don't want to cover up all the background as dark. I just want it on the edge. So clean my brush off. Don't want too much colour on. Make sure the colour's away. I just use the water to blend that up. That's it. That's better. You can do this as much as you want later on. I'm just giving you an idea so that you can finish. So, yeah, like um, Tracy, I've got some workshops as well. Uh, I've got a colour masterclass coming up. But uh, Karen made a really good point about these workshops. She said, um, why would she spend... You'll have to go and see a comment, but it's really true. And she's speaking about, like most of us who do workshops online, and she's saying that, why would, you know... In comparison to the cost of her going there, the food, the hotel and all that, making um, travel arrangements, all the, all this stuff, when you think you've got to do all that to go to a workshop, really, and then if you can get there, but this way it's brilliant because you can do everybody's workshop that you've wanted to do, you can do anybody's that you never thought in a million years you'd get to, and it just works out better for everybody. So I'm just going to drop in a little bit more and leave it to colour on its own because I'm conscious of time and prep for later. Alexa, what time is it please? Oh, well over. Oh, sack it. I am so sorry if I've gone over into somebody else's. It's not really fair, is it? Right, I'm happy with that. I've got a nicer background. Now the patterning comes in. Get my gigs off. If you've got your pen, don't forget. Bring in your pen as well now because it's got the, the layer on that you need. And, and Now I use these Ecoline inks, you've seen me bring them to a chanda, I use paint, I use anything. These are really good because if you've got um, a certain amount of money and you need to sort of have something that's really versatile, these pens work great, plus the inks as well. So, because you can, you know, do your good old blending that way as well. So... Yeah, as I was saying about the workshops, you could go, you know, would you be able to get to America? Would you go to, you know, all the way to where Tracy could? Where, what about us, where we travel? You know, so to pay a minimal pound, I, mean, I think Karen mentioned 10 to 30 quid or whatever. I don't know. I'm not talking money anyway, but um, it, it just seems like so, so... Um, accessible and easy you, you just go for it well i would anyway and i am doing so i've got some pens now and i'm just going to that these are gold pens um and silver pens but you can use your um your secura any pens that you've got just to give you a little bit of color bling you've got watercolours like this great i'm not going to do every one gold because it don't look crap anyway so um i'm just going to use it sort of is that the same color no i think it's different isn't it oh yeah it is it's darker so i've got that one there i've got a bit of silver i'm just going to add these here oh it's run out it's not hot Spent a fortune in bloody pens. Right. I wish someone had come up with a finite way of storing these pens so that I don't come to use them and then they've gone again. So I've got there like that. I'm going to put in some colour around here with the pattern in. And I'm going to write some journaling in here as well. But, um, I, you know, choose some colours that are going to be work for you it's not about what works for me i quite like the idea of having a blender green in there as well so if i go with a green edge like that just a little bit at a time and blend wrong brush no it is that one i need my um 
four, but not as long as this one. It's harder to blend this one. So I'm just going to drop in a little bit of colour there. I don't want too much because what I want it to do is create just a, not a line, well a line, but a separation so that you can see the pattern. So I'm using two types of green, a light and a dark to blend with the water. So you just draw it on really quickly and because it's a, a really iffy shape. It doesn't matter where you sort of colour with your colour. It's, well, you know, I go out of the lines anyway. It doesn't matter to me. Time and place for everything. And it, this, to me, don't warrant me doing that in the lines. So, just put them away. And then what you can do is, when you feel you've got to a point that you really like, you can add other colours in to drop in. So you've got that. I've got a nice, so we've got a greens, teals. So, if we bring the turquoise in here, it'll stop that. To me, it's fighting at the moment. It, there's just no teal anywhere else. So if I drop this one in, this might, I hope, just bring a bit of colour in now. I'm not going to go too mad with it because it's quite a strong colour. So, and I'm going to put watercolour in areas like that. Pretty strong there. Clean off water on my brush. And as I'm going, allow it to blend. And the reason you leave a bit of white is so that as you blend in that, it goes lighter there. Because there's no colour on it. Now if it's also if it's quite thin, an area, thin area, you might not want as much on. So again, there. Now you can add more colour if you want, but it's not fighting as much now. I do think I need something in the corners, so this is where you could put your, you know, your patterning or whatever. Um, where's my pens? You can go back in here with your pens. So I'm going to drop in some orange because I've got orange in the background. I'm going over the shapes I've drawn. Because I can, and I will, and I do. I'm going to get a bit of the green on now. going to end each one with a, a little pearl in a bright green put a bit of green in between so yeah if you want to look at people who, who work with these don't forget I've mentioned who you know we see a lot of using them so go back to them now this is where it gets quite nice because we start to put in colour here from the background so I'm putting a light green in and then I'll drop down to a darker green and that's when you can put all your you know your colours in then like your um your bronzes and stuff over the top because um you've brought the colours in now. So we've got that there which I really like that now. And if you get a white pen that works, she says Hoping, hoping, hoping. Keep all your everything crossed. Everything. Yay! So here. You can draw over anything that you've got. You can do white lines on dark colours now that wouldn't normally stand out on the light. So... This is where, to me, this is 
this is the bit I love where all my patterning comes in. We need something on here, don't we? So I think if we were to have a colour now to bring it all together. I think the purple will work. So I'm just going to drop the purple there. No, there won't be much time. I'm using um, a Cotman Professional. I can't remember purple, but it's um, a professional purple because purple's a really tricky colour, as we said before. So I'm just dropping it in quite concentrated there. And then, again, well, to take as much off as you can and just allow that to blend and let the orange blend with it because you'll get a lovely colour and when that's dry we'll accentuate that with the purple and the white pen so again add the water take the water to the colour and then you let it dry and add more if you wish. So you can do all that now what you can do and then you get your favourites. You get all the colours that you've got in your pens. Um, now you see it's gone to the bottom now and gone out there. I'm getting fed up of this. It's cost me a fortune in these. No, oh, I get fed up with them, I really am. It's not fair when you spend all that money on something and every time you go to use them, you can't work with it. I think they should sort it out. So, I'm using the souffle. And you should get a really lovely glaze with it, but, <laughs> yeah, like hell. I've turned them all round now. I'm hoping that by turning them upside down, I'm going to get them to work. I wonder if it's because they're too cold. But they've been in the house. It's not like... You won't want to watch me do... Oh, what was that then? Nothing, nothing, not a peep, not a sweet, not a blooming nothing. Right, that's it now. Come on, stop messing. I'm storing them wrong, I think. Yay! Out of all them, one. So here, I've got like quite a bright orange, a neon colour, but if you add it to... Just little areas, not a lot. It should dry on top of the dark purple as well, so... I mean, it's quite fluorescent, this one, but I quite like this. You can mix it with some of the others you've got, if they work. Right. I think the last thing I'm going to do now with this, is because I think it just needs it, is I've got my white pen here. So what I can do is if so, what you can do is I've got a white pen is just start to put in some white line. Oh, it's wet here, so. It will dry in it and and disappear slightly. So here, if you've got a dark colour, 
and you want white on it put the white in um, the dots though just in between the only problem is I don't want it to look like it's snowing and it does but if I put a little black circle line around them then it won't look so much like it's snowing um, so if you add some colours which I clearly don't you could just fill in these with some of your colours and just really enjoy colouring in as well because that's as important that's a really mindful thing so just round the edge and then because that's really annoying me that is really really annoying me now I'm going to get a really fine pen and my really fine pen uh, that's if it's working and I've not ruined it is a 0 3 or a 0 5 so see if a 0 3 will do it it's tiny so I'm just going to show you here now by going round those white circles I can make them more. Right. Well, I've got to do something with my phone because my phone's playing up now. So I'm going to say thank you very much. I'll turn you around, but I don't even know what you're going to see because my screen's gone off. So I'm just going to turn you around. Oh, it's not letting me. So I'll leave you. I'll leave you on the picture. It makes more sense, doesn't it? Right. So I love you and leave you. Um, I won't be here tomorrow, but I'll be on telly tomorrow. So um, a chanda doing this one day special, which is amazing, and it's all about hearts. But don't think of it as being just about Valentine's Day at this present time. I think we all need a little bit of love, whether it's self love or you know telling people thank you and being being grateful and stuff stop moaning and if you think that you know you've got a right to moan yeah great keep it to yourself because no one's interested and um, we all want to get on with what making most of what we've got not listening to people whinge so sorry i had to say that i'm sick of it i hear it all the time it's like yes yes but please do moan but not not constantly it ruins your life Right, I'm going to love you and leave you. I'll leave you with that. I'll dedicate that to my family. Because um, they're, they're all wonderful. And I will speak to people. I'm going to go to my room. I'll speak to people in there. Um, and I'll see you, not tomorrow, I'll see you Monday at 12 for your daily dose. Okay, thank you. Have a great weekend, everybody. Bye.